Hello and welcome to another Autodesk tutorial. This time we're actually looking at Civil 3D and how to import points correctly. Now, if you're struggling to import points in Civil 3D, let's say you got your survey data from your surveyor and then you head over to points and use the points creation tool and then you go over to import points. When you're in this category in import points and then you go ahead and add a point file. Let me just go ahead and select one from here. We'll just go ahead and use survey data. And this is one survey data that I got from a surveyor. You notice that Civil 3D doesn't actually understand this file. It says that there's no point file format that has actually been found. And this is a common error. If you're working with Civil 3D, you may get some survey data that is not actually compatible with Civil 3D. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I actually fixed this particular point file. So it may not be that the surveyor is completely wrong. You just have to do some data cleaning to allow CB3D actually understand the survey data that you got from your surveyor. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and open the survey data using an Excel sheet or a Google sheet or any format that gives you spreadsheets like this. You can see what the survey data actually looks like. So we have first the point identification and we also have the UTM coordinates of those points. And we also have the elevation MSL that's, these are all the, yeah, elevations. So in order to fix this, you have to actually organize this data in a format that Civil 3D understands. This isn't a format that Civil 3D understands. What I think was causing the problem for me was the text and the arrangement of the UTM coordinates. So you notice that the northing and the easting coordinates, the one that we see on the left is the northing coordinate. The ones that we see on the right is the northing coordinates. So that is the way it's arranged. And we, are not, we have to now arrange this format in a format that Civil 3D is actually going to understand. So what I'm going to do next is to open a new spreadsheet like this. You can see one that is completely blank. And then we're going to start with using one of these point data. You can go ahead and select this one. We're just going to copy it like this. Or to be honest, you can select this one as one and then scroll down all the way to the end. You can see it's not a lot of points. Select this and then go ahead and hit copy. And then head over to your new spreadsheet. On the very first slot, on the very first cell of this, you go ahead and paste that option. And then just start with the coordinates like that. This is the very first one that is the point ID number. And then you can go back to this coordinates. And then this is always the one that takes the next process is the one that takes the most time to actually do. We're going to want to copy each of these coordinates, excluding the excluding the alphabet. So I can just go ahead and double check this and then select just the easting coordinates. Go ahead and click copy. And then in the next cell, right beside the point file, right, right beside the point number, go ahead and paste the easting coordinates and then do the same for this one. Just find a way to get all of them selected as one. This could actually take some time and some survey coordinates may come separately. This one was quite difficult for me because all of them were mashed together in one particular cell. So I had to select each of them one by one, but more often than not, you will get the easting and the northing on separate cells. So you may not have to do all this. You just have to copy each of them and into the cells. Now you notice that I did not include the title of the, the title of the columns. Because Civil 3 doesn't actually understand this UTM as text or something like that, even the point ID number and the elevations, it just wants the code. It just wants the value instead. So that is what it's easier for you to actually do. Go ahead and click paste on this. For the elevations, I can actually choose to go and select each and every one of them like this and then go ahead and hit copy back to the elevation, start from the second slot and then go ahead and hit paste. So the rest is just to fill in the remaining slots that is for your easting and your northing coordinates. When you're completely done, this is what it's supposed to look like. You notice that in this one, I didn't even include the point ID number. It's just the easting, the northing and the elevation because basically that is what CB3 is looking for. All the other text that are showing the title of the column, the UTM, the elevation text, Civil 3D may not really understand it. So this is the file that I'm going to use to import in Civil 3D, the completely cleaned version of that survey data that I got from my surveyor. So we can head over now to Civil 3D and then close this option and then go ahead and choose the new file. This is where it is, OF sheet one. You can go ahead and select that. You can see I actually had many other attempts at actually doing this before I figure it out. So go ahead and click open. You see that Civil 3D is now going to actually understand that file because you've cleaned out all the data that wasn't supposed to be there that were causing some clash or errors. So now that you have the file format corrected, you can go ahead and choose the specified file format that you're following. Like I did, mine is easting, northing, and point elevation. So we just need the ENZ. 
if I if I had included the point ID number, it would be to have a point ID number before the ENZ coordinate. So there's probably a way to go ahead and create yours, but for now, just go ahead and select the one that is correct. Easting nothing elevation. So we have here easting nothing Z for elevation, comma delimited space. You don't need to select any other thing, just go ahead and click OK. And Civil 3D is going to import those points. If you can't see the points on the screen, it means that it's probably somewhere in the universe of Autodesk Civil 3D. So you can go ahead and click and go ahead and type in Z on the keyboard for zoom and press enter. And Civil 3D is going to ask you, how far do you want to zoom? I need to zoom extents. I can go ahead and click, I can go ahead and click extents over here, but you can also type E on the keyboard to show extents and then press enter. And then we can see our points as we intended them to be. So this is how the road is supposed to be. This is the center line. And that is basically what my survey gave to me. So this is what we're working with. And that is how you can go about getting Civil 3D to understand a survey data that you got from your surveyor in case you had an error before. Just go ahead and clean the file like that. Make sure you make sure you have it looking like this format where it's just the easting, nothing, and elevations, or take out any other text that may be conflicting with Civil 3D reading the source data, like text that include this ID number, UTM, and elevations. Civil 3D may not really understand that. So you just go ahead and take them out and then have the clean version of the data, which is representing your easting and your nothing, even the nothing, you can ignore the 32, um, 32 degree north and all these other alphabets that are in there. Just focus on getting the numbers, just like you see here in this sheet. And then Civil 3D will be able to understand it. And then you can go ahead and import it. You can go ahead and import it into Civil 3D like this and then continue your work. If you found this video useful, do leave a like on it and also subscribe so you can get notified when more videos like this too, when more videos like this do come out. And if you have any additional questions, do let me know. I'll see you in the next video.